Hello, my name is Mystics, and we are live on Miami Community Radio. Today, I will be doing some sound healing, improvised and instinctual. I will be playing a vinyl from Stephen Halpern. <laughs> It is called Zodiac Suite. Stephen Halpern has given new meaning to the age-old concept of music spheres. Zodiac Suite is music in which space is a vital part of the orchestration. The result is beautiful, relaxing, and uplifting with trademarked anti-frantic touch. The selections comprising side one reminds us, of a, reminds us of the possible relationships between the 12 signs of the zodiac and the 12 keynotes of our musical octave. So today I'll be pulling an affirmations card. Today's affirmation is, my body is healthy, my mind is brilliant, my soul is tranquil.
So that brings us into our first meditation, which would be the root chakra. The root chakra is the foundation upon which all the other chakras sit. Think of yourself as a tree. You draw nourishment from the earth through your roots. Without healthy roots, a tree will become malnourished and everything from the branches to the leaves will be affected. So, it stands to reason that when energetically balancing the chakra, it's important to make the root chakra a priority. Today, we will be focusing on affirmations that activate your root chakra. Say these affirmations out loud or repeat them to yourself with your inner voice. If one resonates with you, write it down, carry it, carry it with you. Say it to yourself as a daily mantra. I am safe and secure in all situations. When I say an affirmation, repeat it aloud or in your head, whichever you feel comfortable. I am safe and secure in all situations. I choose to spend time with people who make me feel emotionally safe. I choose to spend time with people who make me feel emotionally safe. The universe always protects me. The universe always protects me. safe to be myself. I am always safe to be myself. I am guarded and feel protected. I am guarded and feel protected.
The people in my life love me and want the best for me. The people in my life love me and want the best for me. that protect me. The people around me bring out the best in me. The people around me bring out the best in me. trust life even when I don't understand it. I trust life even when I don't understand it. My life amazes me in positive ways every day. My life amazes me in positive ways every day.
I believe in my ability to get through tough times. I believe in my ability to get through tough times. It's safe to let others get close to me with pure intention. It's safe to let others get close to me with pure intention. with humility. I'm good enough as I am. I am filled with humility. I'm good enough as I am. I take constructive criticism as a chance to learn and improve myself. I take constructive criticism as a chance to learn and improve myself. I always admit when I'm wrong without shaming myself or others. I always admit when I'm wrong without shaming myself or others. I believe that pushing one person forward pushes us all forward. I believe that pushing one person forward pushes, all, pushes us all forward.
I am curious and flexible in my thinking. I am curious and flexible in my thinking. I always admit when I'm wrong without shaming others. I'm curious and flexible in my thinking. I am curious and flexible in my thinking. I'm able to ask myself for help or others when I need it. I'm able to ask others or myself for help when I need it. I can laugh at myself. I can laugh at myself. I'm a great listener. I'm a great listener. Life is a journey of learning, and I continue to learn and grow every day. Life is a journey of learning, and I continue to grow and learn every day. I accept and fully love all aspects of myself. I accept and fully love all aspects of myself. My needs, feelings, and emotions are valid. My needs, feelings, and emotions are valid. I am always free to express how I feel. I am always free to express how I feel. I'm honest, and I get honesty in return. I'm honest, and get honesty in return. People love me for who I am with no conditions attached. People love me for who I am with no conditions attached. It's normal to need help sometimes, and it's safe to ask for help. It's normal to need help sometimes, and it's safe to ask for help. I am allowed to talk. I am allowed to talk. I'm allowed to struggle without being shamed. I'm allowed to struggle without being shamed. I don't need to seek the approval of others. I don't need to seek the approval of others. Feelings are never right or wrong. They just are.
The next card we'll be pulling is a crystal card. Let's see what our crystal for today is. Today's crystal is beryl. There are many things that can get in the way of spiritual advancement. This stone has the ability to filter out these distractions and fill you with courage and initiative to believe in yourself. It can attract love and maintain it as well as opening your mind to understanding true love. Beryl. It's a green stone, kind of a light green with black little fractures. The next meditation will be activating your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is also known as the celiac plexus. The word celiac is Greek for belly, and the word plexus is Latin for braid. Plexus refers to the network of nerves that intertwine like braids, stretching out like rays of sun, hence the solar part of the name, solar plexus. This chakra is the seed of your personal power. It functions as the energy center associated with ego or your self-identity, self-belief, and self-worth. On top of that, it's the foundation of your self-reliance. Find somewhere comfortable to sit down. Close your eyes and feel your lower limbs grow heavy and still until you can no longer distinguish between them and the earth you're sitting on. Instead, turn your attention to the bright yellow flame in your solar plexus, right beneath your rib cage, your epicenter. Visualize your inner sun glowing brightly with all of your dreams and aspiration and see it burst into flames. What you see is your passion your center, your inner fire. As the fire grows, so does your power. Like a lion, your teeth grow sharp and bold as the fire within you spreads throughout your body. Like an eagle, you begin to soar in the sky, high above this earth that only a moment ago grounded you and held you captive. Visualize yourself breaking free, 
See yourself tearing your body and spreading your wings. Now, bring your attention to your breathing. Breathing in, relaxation, bringing out tension. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you breathe in, visualize yourself, breathing in golden yellow light down into your stomach area. With every in-breath, you pull in more fresh yellow light, allowing it to fill your solar plexus chakra and your stomach area, allowing it to spread further outwards, connecting with all other chakras, filling your entire body, up into your chest, your head, down into your arms and hands, down into your pelvis, your legs and toes, breathing in yellow light energy, breathing out tension, breathing in yellow light energy, breathing out tension. Bring your attention back to your summer, your stomach and area, to the yellow light of the solar plexus chakra. Visualize the swirling yellow light getting smaller, bringing it down to around the size of a fairy light, like Navi. Bringing it back down to normal function. Repeat to yourself, my solar plexus chakra is working at normal function. Bring your awareness back to the flow of your breathing, in and out, in and out. Notice the cool breath as it comes in through your nose and down the back of your throat and into your lungs. Notice the natural movement of your tummy as you breathe, in and out. Be aware of your full body again as it rests against the floor. Bring your attention to your toes and give them a little wiggle. Then to your fingers and give them a little wiggle as well. Give your shoulders a little shrug. Let yourself be aware of the room again, of all the sounds close by. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes. Thank <laughs> you.
the vinyl right now playing is called Spectrum Suite. Spectrum Suite will help you attain a relaxed meditative state of consciousness. It is the result of studies conducted by Spectrum Research. The institute that measured meditative response, a state of being that has been shown to have dramatic healing and recuperative powers. Next, we'll be pulling a card from the Shamanic Healing Oracle. those days when we are dis disinclined to do anything. We try all sorts of mental tricks to talk ourselves into doing what we should do, what we should do or what we should be doing. Does this ever work? No. We end up feeling guilty for not getting anything done, which causes us to try twice as hard as the next day, which causes us to get overwhelmed and exhausted, which then leads to becoming caught up in a vicious cycle. Your body has rhythms just as everything else on this earth does flowers, trees, plants, and the elements. The tides ebb and flow, the sun and moon rise and set, animals hibernate, and flowers grow, bloom, and go dormant. You need to listen to the inherent cycles within you. Rest when you need to, work when you need to. Do not try to outthink the natural rhythms. Go easy on yourself and reserve judgment. You are your own harshest critic. That is today's shamanic healing. Thank you. With that, we're gonna go into our last meditation. Which is the third eye chakra meditation. The third eye chakra is associated with following psychological and behavioral characteristics. Vision, intuition, perception of subtle dimensions and movements of energy. Psychic abilities related to clairvoyance, access to mystical states, illumination, connection to wisdom, insight, motivates inspiration and creativity. The third eye chakra is an instrument to perceive the more subtle qualities of reality. It goes beyond the more physical senses into the realm of subtle energies. Awakening your third eye allows you to open up to an intuitive sensibility and inner perception.
Okay, bring attention to the top of your head. As you sit, feel your forehead grow light and your thinking mind fall quiet. Let any worries and thoughts fall silent as you slowly breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. As your lungs become filled with air, your body slowly begins to relax. Starting from your head, all the way to your toes. Feel your lower body grow heavy and your upper body grow light as a feather. Feel the freedom and the air flow through your limbs and all the way into your forehead. Feel your forehead grow cool and weightless. Slowly, as you rid yourself of all thoughts and worries, begin to visualize a small purple ball at the center of your forehead. This is your third eye. As your two normal eyes are closed and sightless, your third eye begins to expand and grow, accumulating more and more energy as it goes. See this purple ball glow and grow larger, but not heavier. Your third eye is also light as a feather as the purple ball begins to push against the edges of your forehead. Feel it push against them and then burst open. Imagine the purple energy of your third eye flowing freely through your body. Head, throat, chest, belly, and legs. Feel them all drenched in this wonderful purple energy. As you breathe in, this deep blue light, it brings you clarity, intuition, and vision. As you breathe out, the deep blue light removes all blockages. Feel the lovely indigo glow as it gently spins and envelops you. Breathing in deep blue light, tell yourself you are all seeing, all knowing, Breathing in deep blue light, tell yourself you are all seeing, all knowing. Now we'll be closing down the chakra. Bring your attention back to your forehead area, to the indigo light of your brow chakra. chakra. Visualize the swirling indigo light getting smaller, bringing it down to around the size of a fairy light, bringing it down to normal function. Repeat to yourself, my brow chakra is working at normal function.
So this instrument here is called a sistrum. This is used in African tribes as a spiritual instrument, as well as Egyptian times, except the one in Egyptian times is more, um, it's metal and refined. So this is a primitive sistrum. This was made in Africa in the 90s, I believe. They used bottle caps to make the little clangers. And this right here is called a death whistle. This was used by Aztecs in war and in healing. During war, they would all have this whistle and they would blow it so loud so it would sound frightening to their opponents. Um, and also, during healing times, if somebody was dying, this would be something they would use to heal them, to bring them back. So it's used in very extreme purposes, and I wanted to bring this sound to everyone. Thanks for listening to Miami Community Radio. This was Instinctual Experimental Sound Healing with Mystics. And have a beautiful day.